Now, this might sound a little controversial, but personally, I'm not a huge fan of fitting a wide array of analog gauges to the inside of your race car. While, yes, we do want to monitor all of the engine's vital statistics, with conventional analog gauges, it's really difficult for the driver to actually monitor these while driving the car hard out on the racetrack. And for example, if we take oil pressure, unless the driver's watching that oil pressure gauge at the exact moment that the oil pressure drops, it's impossible to know if your engine may be being damaged. Fortunately, these days there are some really smart alternatives to conventional analog gauges, and we're here to look at the Plex Tuning Micro SDM. Now this is a really smart and really advanced configurable dash display module that also provides the potential for data logging too. We've got the box here in front of us, so let's open it up and we'll see what it comes with. Now to start with we have the Plex Micro SDM module and the Tyco Spec 44 wiring harness. Let's get back to that in a moment. We've also got a mounting platform for the display module, including some double-sided Velcro tape to allow you to easily mount this wherever suits in your car. And on top of this, we've also got a USB cable which can be used for programming the unit, updating the firmware, as well as downloading your data logs. Now you'll notice here that there is no instruction manual included in the box. And this is because this is all online at Plex's website. It actually tells you exactly that on the front of the box. This means that the instruction manual that you're going to have access to is always the most up-to-date and will take into account any firmware updates that have been made since you purchased the unit. Alright, let's get our box out of the way and we'll have a better look at the Plex Micro SDM unit. Starting with the unit itself, it includes a 2.4 inch OLED display which is completely user configurable and this is housed in an attractive CNC machined aluminium enclosure which is anodized. This gives it quite a high tech look which is going to suit the interior of most late model race cars. On the front of the enclosure we can see we have two buttons and these can be used to cycle through a variety of different display pages so you can display whatever information you want in whatever format suits you. The other button also provides a peak hold function. So this is great to just grab a snapshot of the maximum values that you've seen while the car has been operating. Above this we can see we've also got a configurable RGB LED light. This can be used for aspects such as driver warning alarms as well as a configurable shift light. The wiring harness included allows you to power the unit as well as communicate with various ECUs via either CAN or RS-232. In our case the unit we are looking at is the 102 Pro Spec unit and this includes four analog or digital inputs as well as a pair of, of thermocouple amplifiers, perfect for adding in exhaust gas temperature sensors for example. One of the key advantages with the Plex Micro SDM is just down to its micro size. Because it's so small it makes it really easy to mount it in a variety of locations around the car where it's within easy eyesight of the driver. We're actually using one of these units in our Toyota 86 development car and I've mounted it down in the bottom corner of the windscreen. Now when I'm out on track I can display a couple of key parameters that I want to keep an eye on. Let's say boost pressure and air fuel ratio for example. And then when I reach a straight piece of the track it's really easy to view that data because it's right there in my peripheral vision. Now we need to talk about how we're actually going to get data or information into this unit in order to display it and this is where the micro SDM really is incredibly flexible and incredibly powerful. It's got the ability to display up to 64 channels of information across a variety of pages and we can get that information into the unit in a variety of ways. Probably one of the most common ways we're going to be doing this with late model factory or aftermarket ECUs is via CAN. So by connecting the micro SDM up to the CAN network on the car, we can get all of the data that is available on that CAN network and display it. 
Now, if you're a bit of a data nerd, then you're able to program that CAN template yourself. So this allows you to receive essentially any information and make it compatible with any system that communicates using CAN. However, for most mere mortals, this is probably going to be a bit of a stretch, but that's okay. Plex make this really easy. There are a number of templates that are selectable from the software, and you can just select whatever device you're communicating with, and then all of the information will be available. With so much information being available, this adds actually another layer of complexity into how we're going to display it. Using the software, which we'll have a look at in a second, it's really easy to set this up with multiple display pages showing just the information we want on those pages, and we can then scroll through those pages using the button on the front of the unit. As a smart alternative though, these pages can actually automatically change based on parameters such as engine coolant temperature perhaps, or maybe wheel speed when the car actually starts moving. Another problem when we've got a lot of data to look at is what I kind of alluded to at the start of this video. It's impossible to know what's gone wrong unless we're actually looking at the data right at the time that something does go wrong. So this is where the smart alarms on the micro SDM come in. Let's say, for example, that we want to set up an alarm for engine coolant temperature. We can do that within the software, and then that alarm will display. It can flash the RGB LED to bring the driver's attention into something being wrong and then the driver can instantly look at the unit to see what exactly that alarm is and this makes it really easy to not take too much of the driver's attention. The driver can concentrate on driving the car until the driver's attention is actually needed. Another feature on the Pro version of the Micro SDM is that it includes 32 megabytes of onboard logging. Again, this is really valuable when you can monitor so many parameters. This will all log into the internal memory and it can be downloaded via laptop at a later point for analysis with Plex's own data analysis software package. Now that we've got a basic overview of the Micro SDM, let's jump into our laptop and we'll have a look through the configuration software. To start with, we'll have a look at the Pages Configuration tab, and this is where we can set up the various pages that will be displayed on the micro SDM. For example, the preview that we've got here is for a simple page showing one piece of data, which is our engine RPM. If we cycle through to our third page here, we can see we've now got four pieces of data. We're displaying engine RPM, speed, we're showing our ignition timing as well as our lambda aim. Now it's also worth mentioning here that the micro SDM can be set up to display in either landscape or portrait depending on how you prefer to place the unit inside your car. Next we'll move over to our functions setup tab and this is where we can set up all of the functions within the unit. For example, we can see you can set up a shift light, gear detection, you can set up the auto switching between pages, alarms for any of the parameters that you're interested in monitoring and you can also set up odometer and trip meter, lap timing and of course your logging parameters can be set up in here as well. Next we'll move across to our device configuration tab and this is where we set up the inputs and outputs from the micro SDM. Really the key to this here is setting up our communications and here we can choose from a drop down menu making it really really easy to select inputs from a variety and quite a wide variety of readily available aftermarket ECUs. Of course, if you want to get a bit more advanced, you can make up your own templates as we've already mentioned. If we click on the Receive tab here, this will show us all of the channels that are coming through as well as the addresses for each of those parameters. Moving down, if you are using the Micro SDM 102, we can set up our inputs down here. We've also got some calculated channels, so the 102 Pro version also allows you to do internal math inside the unit if you want to get really advanced. Finally, if we move across to the Update tab, this is where we can perform firmware updates. And this means that your micro SDM is always up to date and always offering the latest features. If I had one gripe with the micro SDM, it would be to do with the supplied mounting solution. In this case, what we have is a 90 degree aluminium L bracket. It's relatively simple and it doesn't offer a lot of flexibility in terms of angling the unit so it's going to be easy to see by the driver. That's of course not to stop you making up your own mounting solution, but it would be nice to see Plex offer something a little bit more flexible.
That being said, the micro SDM is incredibly powerful and it offers a nice alternative to a fully functioned dash logger, which is obviously going to be at a much higher price point. It allows you to monitor all of the engine's vitals, but most importantly, with those configurable alarms, it's going to easily bring the driver's attention across to the micro STM when something does go wrong. So there you go, there's an overview of the Plex Micro STM. We're pretty impressed with exactly how many features they've managed to pack in to such a small module and we know that this is going to be a great addition to any new race car build for anyone who wants to make sure that their engine remains reliable and healthy under the heat of battle.